Text in this question, Hubie was an assistant coach of a Milwaukee Bucks team that had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Oscar Robertson on it, okay? So you want to talk about historical perspective, no one has more than Hubie. Ryan gets very upset, and, and, and sometimes we do here on our show as well, because a lot of players from previous generations, Hubie, seem to want to knock what we are seeing today from Golden State with their gaudy wins and Steph Curry because the shooting and the way he does it is just so different. Again, as one who's been around forever, what do you make of that criticism and what are your thoughts on what they're doing? Well, first of all, in 74, my second year in the league, two guys retired. Uh, Kareem, Abdul, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was making 500000 mm -hmm. and he wins the MVP for the third time in four years. Making 500. Mm -hmm. Oscar Robertson and Jerry West, two of the greatest names in the history of the game, who are definitely going to be in two of the top four guards until these, maybe some of these younger players retire. Now, they were making $350,000. So when they see players making zillions of dollars, hundreds of millions guaranteed, the incredible commercials that they're getting off the court, there has to be a little envy. And then they look at how the game is changed, just like football. Let's eliminate all the physical contact. We want more scoring. So now you take away the hand check. Well, don't discount that, because if I press you full court with these guys with the hands that they have, the uh, long finger, they put that hand on your hip, they could guide you because of their forearm, wrist, and, and uh, uh, that strength factor. So anybody who just discourages hand-checking, if I pick you up at half court, you're not going anywhere. I'm going to keep my hip right on you as you're, as you're dribbling. You can go between your legs or you can go behind your back, and I still can control you. Well, I take away that. Then I take away the forearm on all cutters and then also on that dribbler. You get a half a step ahead of me, I shoot the forearm in across your letter, and then I say, I stop you right there, I freeze just like in football, the forearm in the trenches of the big guys. That's how they ward off the blockers. All right, well, we take that away. Then the threat of the hard foul. The hard foul today, the flavoring foul, is an embarrassment to our game. Uh, now, are some of these guys giving cheap shots? Absolutely. But when you get a flagrant on you today, all right, it's a lot of money. And what it has done, it's taken away the difficulty of getting to the rim. Shot blocking is down. All right? In the old days, on those rotations, you're going to the rim. I'm going to foul you from the wrist to your elbow. I'm not going to hit you in the head or in the uh, – uh, net area. I'm not going to hit you there. I'm going to hit you there because now you can't get your arm up above your number so you can't get off the shot. So if I take away hand checking, the forearm, and then I take away the threat of the shot block because that's what they've done to the rotations now. I can be a great shot blocker today, but they take me to a flagrant foul anytime I block a shot and I might come down and hit, maybe hit the guy on the top of the head or I get him with a, with a body, it's automatic flagrant foul. Well, I think that that is the main complaint of the older player. And the older player will say this. Take away that stuff in the freeway, I could have averaged five to eight more points a game for the great scores. And you know what? You can't tell me they wouldn't. Number two, they also say now, uh, where, where are the plays? Where's the cerebral part of the game? Where are the great offenses that we saw for years and years? Where are you getting me a great shot with the shot clock down in the last four, five, or six seconds in my best areas? Where's that challenge for the coaching staff? Well, the player coming in now, the one and done, the one and done, and any coach will tell you the cerebral part of the game is down because now we run pick and roll, pick and pop, one on one. Well, why do you do that? Because you can get to the rim. You can get to the rim without the hand checking and without the hard fouls. So that is the major. I hate to get on such a soapbox, I love but it. that's their side of all with us. Hubie, you're the best. We always enjoy it so much. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. All right, fellas. That's a great response. Hubie Brown with the Straight Talk brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless Press.